That's my boy. 17 year old Lucky. He's my baby. And there are my screaming kids in the background. Uh, hey guys, me, LeVon, Loader Operator 7, today. <laughs> You're like the cutest little guy. Aren't you the cutest little guy? You're my bubba's. Yes, you are. He's 17 years old. My little Sparky. Anyways, as you guys can see the fireplace going. I built this rack out of. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Shh, shh, shh. So I built the rack. I'm out there splitting and I filled up the rack and I'm just going to leave the rest in the wheelbarrows. Got these pieces of wood from the big box stores. The Okay, okay, Lucky. Okay. Ben, can you come up with some treats? Uh, it's my son. <laughs> so, uh, big box stores in the lumber area, you can get these. They're kind of like a channel cut out in them and they make them very heavy duty. I got six on this rack, one going that way, one going that way, one going that way. And then I got these spacers, which basically make them about 16 inches apart. And then I fill them up, fill up my wood rack. I'm going to make another one of those and put it on the other side of that one. So, anyways. Let me go to the, the wood yard. I've been filling up all these, uh, got these little wagons from Harbor Freight. I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of dark. But let's get, stay inside little guy. My boy's trying to come out. He's a night owl. And then that's what I'm doing. I'm just uh, finishing up the load. I just uh, got all these... Uh, these uh, rounds that I had previously cut and stacked down in the yard. And I just took my truck down the driveway, stopped in the middle of the driveway, took this two-wheeled wheelbarrow, and filled the wheelbarrow, loaded in the truck. Basically, I walked it across the yard. I would take my truck into the yard, but I'll be quite honest with you. It's kind of slushy out there, and she ain't no four-wheel drive. She's just a two-wheel drive. So I've, I don't want to be slipping and sliding out there, to be honest. So that's what I'm doing. I'll do a little bit of this, and uh, you guys can stay with me. There are some guys that do the time-lapse photography of all the stuff where it is actually pretty cool. i got to learn how to do this kind of stuff so you guys would uh, appreciate my videos a little better, I guess. But I'm just going to do a little bit of this, and then once I'm done splitting... Uh, I'm going to call it a night. I'm just going to stack this stuff in the back of the garage over there on those pieces of wood behind all that crap. And then I'll be done for the night. So I normally put my music on and I get to work, but I'll give you guys the whole shebang. So put this thing on my head. And I hope y'all can see that angle is fine. Here we go. Let's get it. My wagon's already full. I got the other one over there. Let's pull this guy out of the way. Now I'll pull that other wagon up front here. Yeah, even my damn seat is a stump. But the guy on uh, there's a guy on YouTube who does this for a living, and I'm seriously giving it some thought. Um, obviously, I'm gonna. He's got a huge uh, yard with firewood stacked, and he does the sale of firewood. And I was like, that's pretty damn cool. So, uh, let me get my little thing. I digress. Yep, yep, yep. Come here, buddy. And since they're staying inside, I'm not going to make it so I don't have to pull this into the house. So I'll put it right behind me. And then stack accordingly. But yeah, the guy's uh, channel is called In the Woodyard. And he's pretty cool. 58 year old man doing this kind of stuff, so <laughs> I hope I'm doing that in, in that many years from now. But he's definitely a pretty cool guy to watch. Here we go. Uh, it helps when you move these rocks out so I can depress my pedal. There we go. All right, here we go. This wood was uh, delivered from our friend Mike Peel from the Axemen Show. Mike Peel, the logger on Axemen. <clears throat> it brings me about, uh, I want to say about 17 tons 
of just pure logs. And then I cut them to size and I split them and I stack them in the woodshed. But when the stuff is already seasoned like this stuff is, this stuff is pretty nice and dry. And I'm actually just taking it inside and burning the stuff because it's percentage is low. It's less than 15-16%. But it's obviously good to cut them up and uh, split them. So, by the way, that other wood splitter that I bought on my previous video, uh, I think I know why that thing was returned. I believe the guy buys those on, uh, like, uh, uh, Amazon returns or whatever. Because I bought the last one that was available, and uh, literally hours after that, the guy had a bunch of 9-ton models available. Same guy on eBay selling them. But they were 300 bucks, and I'm not going to spend 300 bucks. I'm going to spend 300 bucks. I'm going to buy a real log splitter, a gas powered one, around 800, anywhere up to 1500. But I'll be absolutely honest with you guys. I'm actually just thinking of going even bigger. I'm thinking of buying me a processor and just saying screw it and just getting into this like full bore because I got all the resources. I know where to find my logs. If I can get 17 tons for what I get it for, I can easily make about, uh, I want to say, that for me would work out to about, oh God, I want to say about three or four cords, full cords, something like that. I, you know what, I, I, he brought a 40 yarder, if you know what that is. It's a big box truck and it's got a dump bed in the back and I mean the thing is huge. It's about half the size of a damn tennis uh, field, tennis, tennis court. So he brings that thing stuffed with these guys and then he just backs up and he just raises the bed and then he just guns it and the whole, everything just dumps out the back. And then I cut it to size. Cut, see the pedal? I gotta push down on the pedal. That actuates the cylinder. And then some of these guys I do half, and then I do like a quarter, like that. See, I split that in four. And some of them I leave a half piece and then the small pieces. So I can have a little bit of big and a little bit of small. So normally the ones that won't split four ways, I keep one as a half piece and then the other ones I cut into two. So I have a little bit of smalls, two smalls and one big piece. Hey, you see, this stuff is dry. Look at that. There you go. So you see, I leave that one. I get two smokes. And this is it. I'm going to do this for the next hour or so. Uh, it's a, kind of a big... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll fit in my wood stove. These little guys. I split them in half and just leave it at half. See what I'm doing? I'm stopping the piston. Not letting the piston run all the way back. With my foot. So I save time. Look at that. Just let go a little bit and boom. But the guy on uh, the, the channel uh, uh, in the wood yard said it best. He said this is his yoga. And uh, I get it, man. There's a, there's a whole kind of like solitude and peace that comes with it. Stacking it. You need to know like Tetris wise what you're doing when it comes to stacking and stuff. And then, uh, you see, I'll leave that as a half piece. I got some big ones and some small ones. Let me adjust my pile and get some more of these out of the back of the truck. But, yeah, it's, uh, there's some piece. In, and if you do it right, you don't hurt your back. But if you're not picking up with your back and all that stuff. Like, I actually have a uh, Gold's Gym weight bag in the back of my truck. And if I ever come across some of the burly, really big, heavy-duty stuff, like, on my previous previous video where I loaded the truck with those huge rounds that are underneath that damn tarp uh, easily over 3,000 pounds that was a load this is a three-quarter ton pickup and my leaf springs were bowed backwards so <laughs> I had to get that stuff unloaded quickly and I did and it will blow out my damn suspension but this truck is the, f the best truck I've ever owned and by golly I gotta say it's a monster of a machine Anybody who's got shit to talk about? Oh, 
smack to talk about Ford and they can talk whatever they want. Now I'm not talking about the newer ones obviously because all the electronics and all that crap is a nightmare and I can say that myself having a newer vehicle that has all kinds of this sensor went out, that sensor went out, this went out, that went out. I was like, yo! So, and they're, of course, now stealing all the older trucks because they don't have computer chips in them, which they can't find anymore because they're not coming in from China. A buddy of mine has a trucking company and uh, more than half his fleet is just sitting in idle waiting for parts, and the part's like $40. And uh, he's pretty, uh, pretty pissed off about it because I would be as well. The guy's paying for these trucks and only half his fleet is actually working. So, yeah, that sucks. And that all being said, and then there we are, guys. Oh, the roll-off bed, Harbor Freight, by the way. Really good, damn deal. Look at that, it brought everything to me. I didn't have to climb in the back of the truck. And I'll just stack the rest of the stuff here. And I'll finish what I'm doing. Now you guys can stay with me if you want. Or you can just log out if you like. Or click off. But do me a favor, subscribe and share this if you like this kind of stuff. Because it is quite hypnotic. I do find myself watching this quite a bit. Uh, on that logger channel. That wood guy. In the wood yard. I think he's Canadian. He's got to be in Canada. But good channel and yeah like I said there's a hypnotic aspect to this My buddy you told me on the phone too and a friend of mine Rafi anyways and this will probably just be a half that works see I got a big one and two small ones And that's what I'm going to do, guys. Pretty cool. Just the new log splitter. Oh, I believe the reason it was returned. I forgot. See, I jump all over the place. It's because they got no damn fluid in it. No hydraulic fluid. So it literally was, it was all bubbling and stuff. And there was nothing in it. So I put a bunch of hydraulic fluid in there. And it works beautifully now. So whatever idiot returned it should probably check that first. Anyways, I benefited from it, so win-win in both situations. You win in one day, one day you win, some days you lose, and uh, in my case, I won. Got a $300 log splitter for 120 bucks. Look at that. So, yeah guys, this is it. Very uh, relaxing. And soon I get this done. Already made dinner. Man, the dinner that was some of the best time. So we get our meat from a small farm, all grass-fed beef, and uh, stuff is the best stuff in the world, guys. I kid you not. It's out of this world. My wife added cheese in the middle and some butter. And some of the best damn burgers I've ever eaten in my life. I mean, untouchable to any Hollywood restaurant I've ever gone to. $100 burger. That stuff was the best. All right, I'm going to call it quits. Questions or comments, guys, leave them below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel and share this if you like it. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later. I'm going to finish this up. Bye.